uh, the title was hashtag YouTube Black Voices Fund regarding your application. I was like, oh, like I'm communicating with YouTube Black. YouTube I decided to round off my nearest the country of residence to South Africa and I know you're going to want to click us but hear me out feels like a brand new space yeah it's been a lot but it's a new face yeah had to choose a brand new way baby girl you make the right choice Hey my faves, welcome to my channel. It's your girl is back at it again with another video, darling. If you're new, please make sure that you subscribe and join the faves. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, darling. So today's video is gonna be different. It's gonna be different and some of you I will be wondering why did she talk about it? Why did she get the camera and decide to tell us about it? Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, before you get accepted into something you have to really apply for it and get ready for it and things like that and this goes to YouTube Black 2 basically today i'm just gonna talk about my experience with youtube black and i have my phone here because i am going to do references i'm gonna peep my mails and just tell you guys when i applied and when they replied and what they said and yeah if you want to if you want to hear or if you want to know about more about a youtube black creator thing do continue watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps me a lot someone will ask themselves like what is youtube black okay i am on the internet right now and i'm going to read it out to you guys so that you understand hey so youtube black is um is a startup online platform serving black and ethnic minority voices since 2020 so another thing that i saw that is interesting that i want to read to you guys is that um it started in 2020 right so they said in 2020 we launched a youtube black voices fund a multi-year commitment dedicated to spotlighting Yes, spotlighting and growing black creators and music and music in our platforms. As much as I stay in Botswana, a country that is not really, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> YouTube black also speaks to me, you know, it speaks me to me in the sense of, it says, it is committed and dedicated to spotlighting and growing black creators. I am black creator. And I saw it fit that I, I don't know what happened for my mail to get into their mail system or whatever. I don't know what happened. Maybe they sent this to every creator. I don't know. Their mail found its way to stumble into my inboxes and when i found it i was like yes this is the sign so i decided to get on my mail and i found the mail i uh let me switch and give you guys the right um information no you're going to want to click out because all you you're looking for is youtube black black voices but hear me out hear me out i'm just gonna tell you guys about my experience with youtube black so continue watching you're gonna enjoy it maybe you're gonna learn or maybe you're gonna be encouraged to apply next year and now i get where i found out about youtube black my monthly creator newsletter i think it was the the july one because uh i'm i'm now looking at my um my mail my my creator monthly newsletter and then i read it i read it and like at the bottom at the bottom 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 that's where i found the youtube black um advertisement and then i was like 
I gotta do it. I think I, I, I remember that I was left with two days, if not a day, for me to apply. And so, yeah, let me uh, click the first message that I got from them. Um, I submitted the application, right? And the application needed you to write your name, your names, your professional uh, or stage name, uh, your YouTube channel name. They needed you to like link your YouTube, uh, your address, your current region, and then of residence, and then the current country of residence. When I got there, it was over for me. It was over for me because um, when they asked my country of residence, I, I scrolled down, scrolled down and up and I couldn't find Botswana. Like literally there was no Botswana. So I decided to round off my nearest the country of residence to South Africa and then I wrote South Africa. And then they said, uh, please share why you would like to be part of this year's Black Voices, you know? So I just started by, I'm not going to tell you guys what I said, but uh, because like, Nikwata Hotamela YouTube Botswana, Nikwata Hotamela like creators in Botswana, I started my reason by saying I am a YouTuber residing in Botswana. So that I even highlighted it Botswana and then rotated in caps so that they can um see that there are creators in Botswana who also needs to be put on the spotlight who are also minorities who needs to be put on the spotlight so I said Botswana and then I I told them why I'm highlighting this yeah I, and then I wrote paragraph paragraph when I saw and I tell you paragraph as a paragraph and then yeah that was all that was all the application that I had to do and then they replied me like they said uh, here's what we've received from you and then they highlighted what they received thank you for submitting your application to YouTube Blurk they said thank you for sub submitting your application to the hashtag youtube black voices fund class of 2023 all updates regarding your application will be sent to this email address no later than october yes period and i was like oh my god i'm receiving mails from youtube black like i'm communicating with youtube black <laughs> i was super excited like it was such an experience you know um if you know you know like we don't get that um recognition that we need in bots and then uh then the 9th of november i received a personal mail too uh the title was future hashtag in person events right they said hi yz they know my name <laughs> uh, they know hi yz we are getting in touch as we are hosting an in-person celebration of african talent on youtube in cape town and we want to make sure local creators are invited to join. If you are not based in Cape, Cape Town, don't worry. Completing this information will mean we, we can keep in touch regarding other in-person opportunities in future. Um, they attached the form. Let me see what the form was saying because I kind of forgot. I have a memory of a bird. I don't know if birds have memories, but I do have a memory of a bird um uh, okay my wi-fi is acting up so, mm. so on this attachment unfortunately Botswana on a thing so i could i was able to highlight that i'm not in cape town i am in Botswana, so that in the future they can know to um maybe include us or something like that so kept uh sending me mails on how to improve my channels things like that and then um the mail that i'm gonna talk about is the one that you guys want to know on 11 november i received a mail which says um uh the title was youtube black hashtag youtube black voices fund regarding your application i was like oh, my heart was like 
but i was just chilled you know it like i was like mm. i mean i don't think i made the card because like the odds of me staying here um they said hello thank you for applying for hashtag youtube black voices fund we we've reviewed your submission and unfortunately uh cannot offer you a place in our upcoming class of 2023 cohort it was a hard decision as we have received a quite la la large numbers of applications but we encourage you to engage with our youtube black community news and events so yeah and that was it i applied for youtube black and i didn't make the cut and yeah for me the news i i literally didn't take the news in a bad way it didn't trigger bad emotions or for me i just took it as like not this year maybe next maybe next year not this year next year right now just uh refocus your energy on creating more content improving your craft um yeah being a i'm really grateful by the fact that i was able to apply and get uh you know get in touch with them tell them where i am so that they can be able to uh recognize us too because as much as we live in botswana, botswana we are also black and we are a minority group that needs to be taken to higher pastures we are a minority group that needs to be put on the spotlight too so yeah that is my experience with the youtube black i'm really really grateful and i'm so happy for everybody who makes the who made the cuts like i saw um creators that i've worked with to everyone that has made the cut congratulations relations and yeah we tap on the grace and say next time we are in like it or not please do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed already like this video give it a thumbs up um help me to grow my channel so that next time when i try to put on requests like this i can be considered without doubt so yeah this is my story with youtube black and i hope you guys have learned and have listened and yeah have 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 so yeah see you guys on another video